Um, the song is, the changes are from a song called Alone Together, and it's in the key of D minor. And well, the way I was approaching it there was just kind of almost a little free form. I wasn't thinking specifically of always in a tempo. I was just moving through the chord progression and trying to find out how the chord progression moves and play some ideas on it. Later, I will actually do a performance of it where, I'm, where I play in time and with a little pre-recorded track. But the main topic of this, the main thing I want to get across in this topic is uh, improvising without really thinking of, of scales so much. Because this playing on standard tunes, for me, is more about cadence harmony. It's about harmony that makes a resolution points. Starts someplace, goes to another place, changes keys. Sometimes it changes keys just to relative minor and major, and sometimes it's changing keys to completely different uh, tonalities. But I realized many years ago that playing, um, be, trying to think of scales for every chord I was playing on, and approaching using a scalar approach, I would run out of breath. I couldn't possibly fit all this information into each chord. There's just not enough time because the harmony in standard songs, or as you, some people call it, functional harmony, moves rather quickly. So basically, to play on these tunes, I needed to figure out a way to survive. So I used two methods of survival. One was transcription, by learning from people that did it before. And the other way was to give myself some kind of limitations as to how I was going to approach this thing, using chord tones and approach notes and resolution points. So, for instance, in this tune, I mean, I might say, okay, I'll, now I'm going to play this song, but I'm only going to, I'm going to walk a bass line through it. By walking a bass line, I don't mean I'm going to have to stay in the lower register and be like a bass player. It's the quarter note pulse that interests me the most. And by limiting yourself, you have to make good note choices, right? Hopefully. So if I counted, 